Okay, this section we're going to show you how to check and remove and replace the heating elements. Remove this the screws for this four this the four screws for this cover here. Okay. This exposes your heating elements. Each one has a rubber boot on it. Next thing to do is remove the rubber boot out of the way so that you can remove the screws. So what we're going to do here is undo the screws. Okay, and you'll note here, if you look at the wires, there's two short there's two short ones and two long ones for the heating elements. And the heating elements are installed vertically. So here's the top part of one heating element, and here's the bottom part of this of the same heating element. So there's two heating elements on top here. We have removed the wires from the heating element terminals. At this point now we have to remove the six nuts that hold the cover plate in place. These require an eight millimeter uh, socket. So these will all unscrew all the way out. Okay. And when you're done you'll you will be able to pull this plate out with the heating elements. And it will look like this. This is a plate with a, a new heating element on it. Okay, when you to when you pull it out, you can reattach. You can put your new heating elements on. There'll be nuts on it here. I'll go into this place and remember they are installed vertically. Put it in. You'll tighten these nuts up with tighten them up snug with a crescent wrench and slide this in reattach the nuts to the studs and then you'll at this point take your wires back and reattach them with the screws Do this for all four terminals and you're finished.